Hello, hi, my name's Alan and I'm the executive chef at the Royal Chase Hotel and today we're going to show you uh, the Bailey's Maltese Cheesecake. Uh, it's quite an easy dish to do so uh, I'll just go through the ingredients for you. First off we have some whipped cream, then we have some cheese, uh, cream cheese, we have some Baileys, which you can use any drink you want, like rum if you want fancy. We have some butter. We have some vanilla essence. You could use a vanilla pod if you fancy, it's up to you. And then just regular Maltesers. You could use uh, any other chocolate that you fancy, it's up to you. And uh, digestive biscuits. Right, and to make your cheesecake, uh, you can use a professional uh, metal ring or a cheese, um, like a cake tin, it's up to you. But uh, this is just like a regular beans tin, like a small beans tin. If you uh, take the top off and the bottom off, wash it out, and you can use that, and you can use that as many times as you want, just keep washing it. Okay, so that's what we're going to use today. Right, first off, uh, we've got the cream cheese, and then we're just going to add some cream to that. And you mix that together until it's regularly uh, quite stiff, it doesn't have to be too stiff, but you, as long as it sets in the mould, that's the main thing. Then you're going to add your cast sugar and Baileys. Baileys to taste really, it's up to you if you want it strong, if you don't, don't put too much in. And just a little bit of vanilla essence. So you keep stirring that until it's quite thick, until it's like, you know, double cream or something like that. So really you want it so it stays on the spoon, okay? You put that to one side, put it in the fridge, and then we'll start the um, biscuit mix, okay? So for the biscuits, we're using um, digestive biscuits. So all you need to do, is you put them in a the bag and bash it, or I'm, I'm just going to use the bowl that we've got here. Okay, so just keep breaking them up. And uh, this recipe does, on the recipe sheet, it does for four people or one large um, cake tin. Okay, so you've got your biscuits crumbled up, so what you need to do is just melt your butter. Right, the, the biscuits are crumbled up now, so you just add them to a pan with the melted butter. And then you just stir until it all mixes in. And if you want a hard crumble, uh, just leave it as it is, or if you want a soft crumble, if you just add maybe, I don't know, a teaspoon or a couple of tablespoons of uh, orange juice or apple juice, whichever, and that stops it setting so hard in the fridge. Okay? Right, now, um, you've got your Maltesers all crumbled up, and you just bash them and uh, in a bag or something, and just bash them until they're crumbled up. And then you add to the cream cheese mix. Just mix that all in lightly. And then basically that's it. So we're ready to plate it up. Right, to plate the cheesecake up, uh, just put your ring in the centre. Okay. And your bread uh, crumble mix. Just put in the middle. And you want to pack this down as hard as you can, really. So when you lift the ring up, it doesn't come apart. Okay. Then you can leave that in the fridge to set for 10, 20 minutes, or you can add your cream cheese mix now, which we're going to do. Right. 
So what you do is put your cream cheese in, mix in. Try and make sure there's no air pockets and just keep scraping until you've got like a flat base. Okay? Right, to present your cheesecake, what you need to do is take it out of the mould and hope for the best. So what you do is you get your cheesecake and uh, you press from underneath and just lift it up slightly. Just carefully because you don't want to break it. And if you find it's not set, you can stick it in the freezer for about 10 minutes so it sets a bit more. Okay? And then what you want to do is lift it out. Okay, and then you put the cheesecake on top like that. Okay? And then just to decorate it, I've got a um, piece of mint, just put on top like that, half a strawberry, and then leftover Maltesers if you want. Okay? And then we'll just dust it with a bit of uh, hot chocolate, cocoa or hot chocolate, whatever you've got at home. Okay? There you go, there's your Maltese and Bailey's Cheesecake. Hope you enjoy it.